Founded in 1997, Supanburi FC began life playing in the provincial leagues and were crowned champions of the provinces in 2002 and 2004. When the Thai League merged with the provincial leagues, they went on to compete in the top flight. But the War Elephants didn't last long and were relegated to the second division in 2008. Their fortunes were very much revived though with the arrival of Valworth Silpa Acha to the club. A political force and currently the Minister of Natural Resources and the Environment for Thailand, he changed things round, put his money where his mouth was and saw Supambori become one of the big spenders of T2. And they got the promotion they so craved in 2013 with a leap back to the big time of Toyota Thai League T1. Their first three seasons back in the top flight were hugely promising, with two top four finishes secured. But then the club, as so often is the case in Thailand, underwent a change of philosophy. They went from being big spenders to a club focusing on youth development and an academy system. The club began to be run more as a business rather than a pleasure, and it did result in a sudden loss of form. They've established themselves now, though, as a solid mid-table side. Despite failing to emulate those halcyon days of top four finishes, there's plenty to like about the way the club is being run. They're certainly one of the more financially stable clubs in Thailand and more local players are being given a chance to shine. And this season, after a slowish start, they've really found some form. 17 points from their last seven games and they sit seventh at time of talking, their highest position of the season so far. The head coach of the War Elephants is Adebayo Gadibo, a very familiar face to fans of Supambori as he's been at the club in various capacities for over eight years now. And we caught up with him to ask the Nigerian what the philosophy of Supambori FC was for this season. Uh, my philosophy with uh, our club in Supan FC is to be competitive and also to play as a team and more also, we're not coming back. We're going to pressure and play forward all the time. What could be interpreted as Supambori's biggest weakness could also be looked upon as their greatest strength. When you go through the squad list, there are no standout superstars you see. Yes, they've got foreign imports, the likes of the Filipino Patrick Reichelt, who's been amongst the goals, and the Brazilian Eliandro is certainly an exciting player to watch. But at their core, they have a Thai contingent leading the way, led by a captain who's literally got Supambori blood running through his veins in Supan Tongsong, alongside other effective Thai talents. The likes of Wasan Homsam, Tinakorn Asarin, and Cassidet Wetiawong. ก็ผมมาพยายามแบบทําแบบมันสม่ําเสมอที่สุดครับแบบไม่ได้คิดว่าเราดีไม่ดีอย่างเงี้ยก็แบบพยายามแบบให้มันเสมอต้นเสมอ